It's Anaira Thomas's birthday. She just hit the milestone of 75 years old. Now, normally I'm not one to go around revealing a woman's age, and I know I'll take some flack for it, but Anaira's birthday is something truly special. She holds the unique distinction as the first baby born under the newly formed NHS at one minute past midnight on the 5th of July, 1948. That means that most of us can't even remember a time without Anaira or the NHS. They say familiarity breeds contempt. Now I can't speak for an Iris friends, but that couldn't be further from the truth when it comes to the NHS. The NHS is cherished by one and all. Well, almost all. Remember the 2012 Olympics? I mean, who can forget that iconic moment? I know a kid will take any opportunity to jump on a bed, but it's not often that parents will allow it, or for that matter, applaud them and give them a medal for it. That's the image that Britain wants to project to the world. A place where we take care of each other. The land of the free health care and the home of the brave children, free to jump on beds. And with all those monkeys jumping on the bed, you need the NHS because sooner or later, one of them monkeys is gonna fall off and bump their head. From its very inception, the NHS faced opposition. And unfortunately, that opposition still exists today. Not a day goes by without the talk of cuts and privatization. It may not be spoken aloud by those in power, but their actions speak louder than words. Slowly but surely, they chip away at it. Like one of those bacon slicers, they slice off one little imperceptible bit at a time. But if you want any argument against it, all you need to do is look at where healthcare systems rank worldwide. No matter which chart you look at, the United States with its profit-driven healthcare is always way down at the bottom, and the UK is always way up at the middle. Yeah, our wait times may occasionally test our patients, but it's better to wait an extra hour than to postpone treatment indefinitely because you can't afford it. And of course, you don't have to wait at all if the only doctor you can afford is mom. Mom will pluck that bullet out of your arm in no time, and she'll even kiss it better free of charge. Now, you might argue that the Brits don't boast the world's most pristine pearly whites, but I think that's a pre-NHS stereotype. Today, only 28% of adults in England have tooth decay, compared to a jaw-dropping 92% in America. It's far more important for all our children to have free access to healthy teeth than for Tom Cruise to flaunt a new set of gleaming porcelain veneers. Don't be fooled by a Hollywood smile. But if you want, you can still have cosmetic surgery through the NHS. You might even get it done for free. Now, I can't promise they'll rival Pamela Anderson's eye-catching assets, but hey, at least they won't be dragged into a messy custody battle. The NHS no doubt has its fair share of challenges. There's always room for improvement. But this is one thing we don't need to beat the Americans at. We don't need to win the race to the bottom. Hey, thanks for watching. You know, there's all kinds of things you can do to help support this channel. You can subscribe and hit the like button and the notification bell and leave a comment. And if you want to become a member of our brew crew, head on over to wickedacorn.com and get yourself a mug. You can even get it personalized. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.